All right, let's go get a package. And as you can see, it's really warm today. No jacket because, to be honest, it was just too warm. It's like 25, 26 degrees today. And for being here, that's actually quite warm. So let's see how this goes. I actually ordered uh, some uh, like hex bits uh, to, to be able to work on the bike a little bit uh, since everything is uh, you know imperial uh, measurements not the uh, euro standard European which means that uh, getting all the tools required to work on a Harley uh, in Sweden it's not uh, the easiest thing in the world to, to do so I ordered some to, some you know these bits from I think from the UK so on my way to pick up them now about it. I just came off a pretty uh, tiring day at work. Uh, the calendar in you know this morning looked know fine but uh, thing has just piled up and it's been not a shit storm of stuff but the things that have come in uh, that I had to deal with has been well let's let's just say challenging let's go with the word challenging sometimes I wonder if it's actually adults uh, I have to deal with because some of the things uh, people ask they're not I don't know worthy for lack of a better word uh, to be asked from from adults I mean don't get me wrong I love to help people I mean that's what I do I work in a in an IT support business so uh, I mean I, I help people for a living not me but uh, yeah you can you know what I mean uh, so but when, when you, you, you you train people on how to do things we literally I mean literally had a uh, training uh, last week end of last week or middle of last week regarding some topics what's going on here why are we stopping and um, today what is it today Tuesday today we got questions regarding the same topics on how to do these things Jesus Christ um, and that sort of bugs me because you you do trainings but you you you're talking from like deaf ears you might as well not you know attend if they're not going to listen i mean what's the point oh well we are here and let's see if we can go and get the package See you soon. So, package has been collected. Speaking of helping people, it's kind of funny. Uh, she was trying to scan the package, and that little scanner blippy thingy just gave her an error, 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 error. 
and then she said to her colleagues, hey, I can't get this package out. Have you tried this? Yeah, I've tried that, yeah. And then uh, she tried again, and of course it worked when she tried to, to show it to her, to her colleague. I mean, isn't that just typical? Whenever we, you know, how many times have you not done that? You're going to show some something to someone that is not working, and as soon as they show up, shit just starts to work. Typical. Oh well, I'm glad I got my package. And uh, now we are just going to go for a quick ride. Just had to get out because, like I said, it's been a, a hectic day at work. So I just need to go blow off some, some steam with some fumes. And I also remember to see that I left my other camera at home. So today you only have this angle. be a quite short ride. I just have to go to the gas station, fill it up and then go back home. I know that there is a gas station quite a bit from here but so that would be a nice and short ride for today, for now at least. Still quite a bit from the gas station. Such a lovely ride and a lovely day, so I don't care. And I don't think I will run out of gas. If you guys follow Blockhead, uh, you know that <laughs> in his latest video, he ran out of gas. Uh, I'm, but yeah, his, his excuse was he doesn't have a fuel gauge. I actually do so uh, yeah I guess it happens to all of us sometime I mean these are very lovely houses and all but I wouldn't want to live I mean this close to the road I mean that's not fun you have constant traffic like right outside your window nah. I don't think so. Yeah, they're nice looking houses. And, uh, and, uh, not for me. Okay, now that I have music in my ears, uh, which I usually do when I'm writing, um, what kind of music do you guys listen to? What's your favorite? I mean, not only when you're riding, but you know, in you know, in general. What do you like? For me, it's all about not all about that. Would, that would be a lie. But it's a lot about metal, and uh, not the mellow kind of metal either. Uh, I prefer death metal, uh, black metal. You know, things with a little bit of. Oomph. To it. Right now I'm listening to a band called Kruachan. It's a sort of a full death metal band, like the Scott Irish, I think they are. Really cool. Basically a mixed metal with like bagpipes and violins and stuff like that. Really cool. You should check them out. 
Kroachan. Uh, another band, Finnish band, Swedish band called Fintroll. Uh, awesome. Uh, then I like the classics, you know, Dissection, In Flames, uh, Marduk, if you know who they are. Uh, awesome bands. And uh, you always, always look for new music, uh, love music. Uh, but I also am a huge fan of punk rock and skate punk. Uh, skate punk, to be more specific. Uh, I'm an old skater myself. I've been skating for a lot of years, and it's been even longer since I did it. But you know, it's it's still in you. You, uh, I love the, the skate culture, love watch people skate uh, in general. I uh, wish I still did it, but um, I did it from uh, I was like seven years old uh, until uh, I think I was like uh, 14 or so. So basically I moved uh, at that age, I think I was like 13. And the place I moved to Nobody skated. Everybody was rollerblading, and uh, I wasn't really into that. So I uh, I stopped skating, which I very much regret today. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, if I would have, you know, stayed on it, I might actually have been decent at this high age that I'm in <laughs> uh, it's not so bad but yeah then I would be skating for like 35 years or so and I guess you would have learned something in three over three decades uh, I wasn't bad when I stopped uh, it was just boring to do it alone you know all hobbies are more fun doing it together with someone so even riding a motorcycle apparently not have many people ride with but that's fine because I have you guys to share the experience with and I love watching your videos well where are you going oh, okay and see how you guys are doing and how it looks where you're riding etc so yeah I really enjoy that so I hope you do the same you know enjoy these little rides and talks and whatever crap you're doing yeah anywho I am coming up uh, to the gas station in just a bit so I will fill up and then basically do the same route again but facing the other way so not so much for you to watch I guess uh, but anyway uh, thank you so much for watching um, as always you know subscribe bell like you know the deal uh, speaking of skating cool. uh, and yeah as always ride safe and I will catch you guys in the next video take care now bye bye then <laughs>